Hi guys, hi, this is Jamie from Horizons Light Coaching. I am checking in with you again this week on a palindrome day, always very exciting. So it's one, two, zero, two, zero, two, one. So same forward and back, palindromes, love palindromes. I was born on a palindrome. I won't tell you when though. Um, so we're back here, we're still in the middle of January, still in that month full of goals and goal making and goal setting and goal keeping. Uh-huh, definitely the goal keeping. Um, and so I wanna talk a little bit more about what happens when you struggle with keeping a goal. Um, so last time we talked about making mini goals, breaking it up into smaller, smaller pieces. And um, so like if your goal is to, um, to write a chapter in the book that you want to publish someday, maybe it has to just start with, I'm going to write a page or I'm going to decide what uh, where I'm going to start, or I'm just going to figure out how my characters are going to be. So whatever it is, your goal, your big goal is, break it into smaller chunks. Um, we also talked about changing our environment. And even like if you're about to go to the gym or trying to make yourself going to the gym, just the act of putting on a pair of sneakers or putting on those workout leggings or anything, that is going to help you get into that mindset shift and prepare yourself to meet that goal. Um, and, and even having a support person, like somebody like me, like a friend, um, a sibling, a parent, um, whoever you can get to do this with you is always another great way to help you keep your goals. Um, but the other thing I want to talk about is uh, celebrating each of your successes. So that is something we tend to forget to do. And, and it's so super important is to remember even the small little pieces that you can celebrate, celebrate it. It's okay. It's a good thing. It's something to be excited about and you should be excited about. So I have now hit 18 out of 20 days. I have reached my water goal. Um, and that's exciting for me because I used to be really great about getting in all my water and all the extra water, um, but I got out of the habit a little bit with COVID, and so now I'm reaching again. So I should celebrate 18 out of 20 days. That's okay that I didn't get all of them. It happens, but I got 18 out of 20. Um, so celebrate those and remember what it feels like in your body to have reached that goal. So at the end of this, those days, once I finished drinking all the water, um, besides the fact of having to go to the bathroom a lot, uh, what does it feel like in your body to say, hey, dude, I did it. Um, and, and really capture that and hold on to that feeling in your body of what it's like, um, what it feels like to have reached that goal. Um, the next thing you can do is, the, the next thing we want to do is to pull on all of the positive energies we can. Um, so today is a super, super exciting day, regardless of your political beliefs. Dude, we have a woman and a woman of color in the White House as our vice president. Um, sorry, that is, dude, just fabulous. So that's something exciting and we can pull on that exciting energy and use that to inspire and motivate us and say, hey... Dude, she just broke the glass ceiling. I can manage to do what my goal was today. I can do it. And that's not a guilt tripping thing. Don't use it as a guilt tripping. Use it as a, hey, I can use this energy to push myself forward. Um, and it, hint, hint, we do that all the time. We use what is going on in our lives, but we do it in the opposite. So we'll say, oh, well, uh, today's a Saturday, so it's okay that I didn't meet my goal. Or it's okay that um, I am going to, you know, eat an extra cookie or two because it's the holiday season. So we use that in the negative. So now we just have to relearn and shift ourselves to use that same, those same guidelines um, and pull out those, um, those really good positive energies around, pull them out and use them so that that can bolster what you are doing and, and use that in a positive sense. So pull the positive energy anywhere and everywhere you can find it. Um, it is there for you to, to motivate and inspire yourself and keep yourself going. Um, and even just the energy of deciding, I am going to do this today. 
or even if it has to start, I am going to do this right now. I am going to meet this little tiny thing and I'm going to make this happen and let the rest of the day fall into place as it may. Um, but pull those big energies, celebrate those little successes, use what you can around yourself to pull you back up. Um, and then I wanted to talk about, I, after last time's video, I had one of my special, wonderful, fabulous students um, ask me some great questions. And one of those questions, um, she talked about, what do I do once I've met my goal? You know, if my goal is to, if my goal is to uh, get swole in the gym, I loved that she used that word too, it's so fabulous. Um, if my goal is to get swole in the gym, what happens, how do I keep myself motivated once I reach that goal? Well, there's a few things going on there. So first of all, you want to stay in your day or hold it in the moment got the rhyme thing going, right? So often we do what we call future tripping. We trip on our future. So, so she was looking at, well, what happens? You know, I want to do this, this, this thing where I get strong and I get healthy. Um, and I just feel like a strong woman and which is awesome. And she's going to do great with that. Um, but if you're already looking at, well, what, how do I stay motivated once I reach that? That's tripping on future circumstances. She hasn't even gotten to her first goal yet. Um, when we, when, sorry, not her. Um, when we haven't even gotten to our first goal yet and we're already worried about, well, what am I gonna do then? Then we're focused on time in the future. We wanna focus just on now. Stay in the day, hold it in the moment. What am I doing today? And what goal do I need to meet right now? If you haven't gotten to that point where you need to worry about that next step, don't worry about it. You're not there yet. You don't need to worry about it. You don't need to stress about it. Just stay in the day. Um, the other thing is just when you do get to that point, is there? there's two things with that. There is um, this point where some goals, uh, you'll meet your goal and then you make the next goal. So you build on that and you create something new. So the next step. So if your goal is to um, be able to bench 150, once you reach that goal, then your next goal might be, I wanna, re I wanna bench 160. Or your next goal might be, I want to run two miles without having to stop. I might, uh, you might have the goal, I wanna deadlift, deadlift 200 pounds down. So there's always another next goal that's going to be related so you can keep pushing yourself forward. The other thing that can happen too is once you reach a goal um, and, and you still want to stick with what you've been doing, you don't want to lose that motivation, what happens then is that we have to shift from it being a goal into a habit. And that takes just a different kind of energy, but same idea. So now it's not necessarily I'm meeting my goal um, or I have this big goal to reach. It's I'm creating the habit. My goal is to create this habit. So say you want to have a daily meditation practice. Um, that's not really an ultimate goal. That The goal is creating the habit and starting to just become regular and making it happen. Um, so, but that takes a different kind of shift of energy um, in building those habits, uh, which we can talk about in a uh, another live. But so, keeping yourself motivated, celebrate every single small success you got. Um, the big thing is is sometimes we like to do the compare and despair. Nobody can judge where you're at or what your one hundred percent is. Sometimes your 100% in a day is getting out of bed and taking a shower. Sometimes your 100% in a day is, is going to the gym, writing three chapters in your book, uh, uh, working all day, getting all your homework done, finishing up this extra thing, helping somebody else, volunteering, taking the dog for a walk. 
that might be your 100%. Only you know when you've reached your 100 and only you know when you can push past that 100%. It's all you and what is gonna work for you. So keep holding on there and keep pushing yourself to what is at your capacity. Um, we all have different levels and different places that we're at and you, can't, you don't wanna judge your beginning to somebody else's middle or end. Um, that's just it. Just stay in your lane, stay in your day, hold it in the moment, celebrate those successes, um, and and just keep where you are at and and pull on the energies from everywhere around you. All right, guys. Well, happy inauguration day and happy Wednesday, and I will see you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos if they're helpful to you. Um, if you ever want some more one-on-one -on -one help kind of navigating yourself through a next next step or a goal, please uh, reach out to me, uh, bit.ly slash horizons like coaching, um, and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.